Do you like food? Oh, that's strange, because I'm talking to myself and I like food. But dude, what are you doing? Dude? I'm still ready for videos now, and I'm just trying to do something creative for what. Look, uh, come on, man. Can you j just cut me some slack for a minute? Uh, it's not like how to basic. Yeah, so welcome back to a series I started about two years ago now. It started off when I fried an egg first, yeah? <laughs> then I made some enchiladas. Oh, that was crazy. And then I made some brownies. I Halloween some spooky brownies. It was it was so off the chain. I really loved doing it so much that I wanted to bring it back two years later in a new house. And I'm it's just really hard to make content. It's just really hard. And I'm, j I'm hungry. I haven't eaten in three days. New house. We're in a new house. House. Well, look at these stairs. I used to be downstairs, but now we got the luxury of stairs. Actually, I had stairs in the other house. I, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I just didn't live, live upstairs. I'm, I was down, but now we got stairs that I have to go up quite frequently in kitchen. Okay, guys, we're gonna be making food. <laughs> some, some, some form of food here. Some more form of food. <laughs> Some coconut milk? What? Coconuts have milk? <laughs> yes, silly, of course they do. What do you think's inside them? Semen? Throw back to when people saw this jar, which was full of eggs, and everybody roasted me that we put eggs in a jar. And then I got so insecure about it that we put biscuits in it now. <laughs> Fuck you guys. But I don't know if I made it clear in my Mexican video where I had my, my corn chicken style pieces, but I'm vegetarian. I care about animals and the environment and just not eating meat. That means I'm better than you. We're going to be making a, a, a nice korma curry today with a... Oh, God damn it. God damn it. So I can't afford autofocus. Patex korma paste curry. Mmm. Oh wow, two pots. This really was... Good party. Chicken korma for two? <laughs> nah, -uh. this time we're having mushrooms. I couldn't afford the corn again. So we've got to heat a teaspoon in a pan and then add the diced onion. Well, I, I don't have onion. What the f Who said anything about onion? <laughs> I genuinely don't have onion. Fuck. Add one pot and 50 ml of water and cook until the water has evaporated. Add the diced mushroom and and then and then the coconut milk double cream i haven't got double cream either i grossly underestimated how many ingredients i needed for this also look how small my new fridge is i'm six foot five why couldn't have this been the fridge freezer for we don't even have a freezer it's just a small fridge i got some mange too which between you and me means eat twice well this is such a small fridge that it wasn't Mushroom for these in there. There's actually quite a lot of room. I haven't got much food. I actually haven't got any onions. I mean, we, we can put carrot in it. We can put pepper, half half a pepper. Like, how long has that been now? Don't even want to know. Oh shit, that's that's not an ingredient at all. I'm quite a fan of, of having a little bit of potato in my curry. So, um, oh, that's that's. That's not meant to happen. Let's, let's just forget just forget about that and we'll move on. Oh no. No, we can't salvage. This This is not nice. Mmm, potato juice. Don't worry, we can put some Doritos in it. I, I don't know how to cook it all. So we are gonna get a big red pan. It's like Clifford, but it's not a dog. Hey guys, I guess I could use this frying pan as a drying pan. <laughs> I used the same joke two years ago, but only like 60 people watched it. More people can appreciate it now, and that's the power of growth on YouTube. You gonna partner me now, or what? I need a chopping board. <laughs> that's great. A plastic knife that couldn't cut water. Oh, spun. That's not a knife. This is an actually that is a knife. This is just a bigger knife and. Yeah. A pizza cutter, because you never know how it's going to end up when I'm cooking. I haven't even thought about the rice. I heard if you cook rice wrong, it can make you really ill. Rinse 75 grams of rice per person, or well, there's 500 grams in here, and I'm, I'm, I'll just do it all. Place in a saucepan with 175 ml of water per person. Uh, I'll, 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 just, I'll just use the tap. I guess this bad boy's got to go on. Nice. Oh, that wasn't a good idea at all. This is electric. Don't worry, guys, we've got a tea towel. <laughs> I'm wacky and zany. Oh, Jesus, there's so much more. Oh, fuck. One squeeze is all it takes. UMG, don't listen to this. Well, so that's making loads of background noise. Let's get the mushrooms. Hi, I'm Vietnam D. Guess I don't have to go outside anymore. Let's get some water on these bad boys. 
Apparently putting cold water on mushrooms washes them. Or any vegetable. This is beauty. This this is this is true beauty. I mean it's going in a curry, so we sort of want them to be big anyway. And this is actually as civilized as the video is gonna get is this moment right now whilst I'm making decisions about how big my mushrooms are gonna be in my curry. Why am I using a small knife? Not today, big fella. Soon. That's the wrong thing. I haven't used a gas cooker like this before. I don't know if you guys remember, but a hob in my old kitchen was like a little touchscreen one. It was like 20 years ahead of the future. It was like Black Mirror if it was a kitchen. However, this one's real gas, so there's real threat in this video of death. I hope you enjoy. Please like the button. Please like that button. Is that... That's ketchup, that's not oil. Yeah. Cool, it, it's been 20 minutes and I haven't actually uh, started cooking any food yet. So, oil, I guess. Probably more. That's too much now. I, 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 I can't do this. Whilst we're there, let's put some... Oh! Let's take you off of the boil before we do that again. Let's put you on, please. I'm probably gonna die during this video. Someone help. Please help. That's too much water. I didn't measure it, did I? Remember when I said... Oh my god, there's so much water. Remember when I said I, I was gonna measure this out? Well, psych, that's not happening anymore. You know what? Also, trying to do that, let's just fuck the mushrooms straight into the pan. Yeah, boy. He is murder. Vegan smoothie. Yeah. Vegan smoothie. Yeah. This is not working very well. Is it resealable? Oh no, there's rice everywhere. Oh my god, that's not resealable at all. Let's just put some rice in. We're all having. Oh, it's sticking to the pan. Rice it up a little bit. I better move the mushrooms before they get there. Look, I feel on the floor is rice. Hey, camera, do you want to take control? Hey, yeah, sure. I think I put way too much water in here. There's too much water in this rice. We're gonna put more rice in again. Oh wait, we gotta put a bit of water in here. Tiny bit. Maybe, maybe not hot water, maybe cold water. Too far gone now. It's not sponsored by Patex. And, and if it was, they would probably want their money back. Oh damn. Oh damn. Come on. Please. Oh shit. No! <laughs> These, these are tactics I learned in the Middle East. I don't know which Middle East exactly. Okay, the rice is actually cooking all right. But I just want to let you know, it doesn't matter how urgent um, seeing into other parts of the food is, you've always got to remember to screw the top of the oil nice and secure. And leave that over there. You forgot the munch too. You forgot that I got a... Shit. We didn't wash you at the factory. Who neglected you? Oh no, not the soap. Got this paste on the camera. Yeet. That's funny. That's a relatable meme. When do I add the coconut milk? That's the question on everyone's minds. This is getting stuck to the bottom of the pan. Hey, we need some more oil. I secured the oil too early. Yeah, this is not going well. I've got to open this and it's dented. That's some creamy milk. Probably should have looked at how much before I opened it. Because now it's dripping all over the counter. All of it. Let's just do all of it. That'll, that'll be fine. Oh my god, there's paste on the floor. There's rice on my feet. I'm gonna cream either. I got some custard. Maybe some custard would do. Genuine crisis. Oh, I'm stuck to the back! When is this meant to start being more like a curry? And less like cream. If in doubt, just, just, put, just put a shitload of salt in there. That'll do. Ah, yes, we love soggy rice. Ha <laughs> that's a joke, it's horrible. When does it get tart? I don't really know. Four tablespoons of the curry paste. Surely there wasn't four in there. Okay, the whole thing's good. Make this nice. Please, just do something. Make this nice. Make this nice. <sighs> there you go, that's it, that's a basic fancy. This is not getting thick yet. Thick, boy, thick, boy. Please can you get thicker for me, boy? 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 It's not good. That's quite hard. Get soft, please. This is looking more like a korma now, I guess. Ish. Surely it's not meant to be that runny. Actually, it's not very runny anymore. Oh my god, it's actually working. Taste test too. Still uncooked. It's gonna make me sick. I'm just gonna keep adding water until it's not uncooked. What's that simmering? And that's trying to boil again. I just wanna take a moment to uh, talk about who, those who didn't make it. I stepped in the curry paste. It's time for another taste test. This time I'm gonna taste the curry. It's really not very nice. We're meant to add some sugar, weren't we? Um, uh, I'm gonna 
switch that off now because I think it's just burning at this point. Final taste test. I feel like this still needs to be the final one because at this point we've been cooking this food for way too long and I think it's getting dangerous. Oh my god, this is hot. Ah. Although my tongue, it really does hurt now. We're gonna get a bowl. Ah, shit, I actually think I've burnt my tongue. A bowl, this is not spaghetti or tagliatelle or anything. It is indeed curry. Or what I hope is something similar to curry. I'm gonna try and edit and upload this video within an hour of, um, of eating this, just in case it kills me. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, this is so tragic. So much like paste stuck to the pan. This looks absolutely fucking terrible. Nick Lodge can save you now, pan. I'm so worried. <sighs> I've got naan bread! 24 for the 6th, well, that was two months ago, but if that's what I'm eating, then I guess there's not really much risk in trying. I've genuinely burnt my tongue, I'm so pissed off. Who burns their tongue on rice? I just want to talk about how this, this pack says it serves four people. Who has a full curry and has a naan that big? I suppose whilst those are cooking, we can do the running on empty food review. I'm quite sweaty and hot now. There seems to be a lot of excess oil just sort of floating around. I mean, I don't want to blame myself for everything that went wrong with this meal. Um, but there isn't anyone else in the kitchen I could blame. It's, it smells like a curry, but not a korma. A korma is meant to be nice and creamy um, and extremely mild. I mean, it won't really matter because my, my tongue is burnt anyway. So anything's gonna hurt from now on. I mean, I'm almost certain that the mushrooms aren't fully cooked. I guess Monge too just sort of needs heating up. It doesn't really have any place in this curry at all, but it's, just, it's thin as shit now, but... I'm just got some crunch to it. Yeah, the rice is just mushy, but but the actual curry sort sort of tastes like curry. Not particularly the curry I wanted. My question is, will I enjoy eating the rest of this meal? The answer is probably not. <laughs>